Who has a better contract, Dak Prescott or Patrick Mahomes? Without question, it's Dak Prescott. Look, Dan, last year when the Patrick Mahomes deal came out, 12 years of a commitment, and uh, it's not a, a two-way commitment. It's a one-way commitment. The team can rip it up whenever they want and move on, and there's a point where it would make sense for the team to do it if for whatever reason he's no longer a special talent. We believe that he will be, and he believes that he will be, but I remember that the Mahomes deal came out before the window closed on the Dak Prescott negotiations last July 15 on a long-term deal. And he went with the franchise tag instead. And I asked someone in the know, if you take this contract and you scratch out Patrick Mahomes and you put in Dak Prescott, would Dak take it? And the answer was unequivocally, no, you don't do that deal. That Mahomes deal is an outlier. It's an albatross. And it was done with one goal in mind. So his agents could say, we negotiated the first half billion dollar contract in league history. It's a bad deal. I mean, think about this. Over the first four years of Dak's deal, he's going to make more than 50 million more than Mahomes over the first four years of his deal. And when Dak's deal's done after the 2024 season, Mahomes is still signed for seven more years. He's counting on Clark Hunt, the owner of the team, being willing to tear up that contract at the appropriate time. That's fine. Some owners will do it. Other owners won't. Jerry Jones wouldn't. So that's the leap of faith Mahomes took. So without question, Dax deals better. $66 million signing bonus, record. $75 million paid out this year, record. $95 million fully guaranteed, record. And only a four-year deal. If you're Dak Prescott, do you ask Jerry if he can give one of those golf checks where they hand it out and it's that, that <laughs> huge check? Like for just it says $75 million and he, and he hands it to Dak. I would love that photo up because, you know, Jerry's, you know, although we haven't heard from Jerry, I thought he would take a victory lap here, Mike. Why not? Well, there's because, look, Dan, they, they screwed this up. And th this is the flip side of the Jared Goff cautionary tale, because after Goff had three seasons in and people were saying, well, he's going to get a new contract. There were plenty of people in the league and in the media saying, why are the Rams going to give this guy a market value contract? At some point, one of these teams has to say, we're not going to do this. We're not just going to make you the next highest paid player in league history just because your contract is due to be renegotiated and you've, you've been on the right side of pass fail. The Rams did it, and now they regret it. They're unloading Jared Goff plus something. You know, they're giving something up in net trade assets to get, ri get rid of his contract. The other side of it is when you know you have your guy, you got to move quickly to get him signed. And the longer you wait, the more expensive it gets. And the Cowboys waited and waited and delayed and delayed. And they kept thinking that Dak Prescott was going to wake up one day and see it their way, take less money, accept the fact that being the Cowboys quarterback leads to all sorts of other earning opportunities and just say, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll accept whatever you want to pay us. And he never did. And he finally had them in a spot where they had no choice but to give him this contract. So it's nothing to be proud of. It's their own fault. If they'd have done this in 2019, they would have done it for a hell of a lot less than what they're paying now.